Hey amazing one, so today's video is heart in a cage, okay? How many of you have had something happen, you've lost somebody, a loved one, um, you've had a marriage breakup, you've had a really poor relationship, you've had a violent relationship, um, or you've had a really bad childhood, and how many of you have locked your heart away in a box? Some of you have even put a chain around it, some of you have even buried it 20, 30 foot underneath, some of you even buried it under sea, I could talk about so many different analogies, okay? But how about what you're doing is by putting your heart away and you're only showing certain people people parts of you okay and you're keeping people at arm's distance arm's length is so that they can't ever hurt you again now why have you done that you've done that because you formed a belief you've created a story because of something that is running in from your past now when we go back to childhood okay between the ages of zero and five you literally believe everything to be true OK, and you form your childhood scripts. OK, so let's say something happened in your childhood that made you feel painful or whatever. And then you've chosen to go and go. No, I'm never going to look at it. OK, how many of you can't remember your childhood? How many of you have just blocked out your marriage, your relationship because you formed a belief and created a story? And what you're doing is you're protecting yourself. OK, and I get it and I understand it. And I did that for years. I was like, no one's going to get close to me. I'm not going to let anybody see who I really am. I'm not going to do my healing. I'll do my healing when I'm older. How many of you have gone when the kids leave home or when I'm in a better place? OK, but how about the very best thing you do? OK, is you start to actually have a look at what is your story? What is your belief? If you don't know what to do, OK, I'm going to recommend this technique to you. OK, get a piece of paper. All right. And literally write in the word heart okay and literally what does that mean to you okay because once you start to do the self-work okay and you start to undo those binds and those ties in your heart okay do you know what happens you start to take a look at what you've told yourself you start to take a look at all the stories the beliefs that you hold because remember a story and a belief can all be changed however the longer that you want to keep it all locked away and not have a look okay the more padding the more dense the more pain the less likely time you've got to work on yourself okay but how about when you start to work on yourself and you really start to get to know yourself and you do it and you have a look and inside there's a heart how about that and inside there is your heart. And how about the only person who can ever love you is you. Self-love, understanding who you are, your story, where you came from and what you believe will be your biggest keys and tools in life. Keeping this locked away could stop you from experiencing the greatest love in the world. It could stop you from a promotion, from a job, from being close to your children, because you're scared of what might happen. But how about you find out why you locked it away? What did happen? Why do you keep it hidden? Why don't you show everybody all parts of you? Why? Take a look, because I guarantee you, it won't be that bad. But all the while that you're running away from not dealing with your stuff. I don't want to do it, Kel. How about you have a look and you understand? And then if you get stuck, you reach out to people. But how about you don't hide anymore? And you start doing that inner work. Because do you know what? Even a crack like that can always be repaired. But you just have to take time. And on that, it's all down to you. The only person who can love you the way you want to be loved is you. The only person who understands you is you. Do it. It's the greatest, best thing you'll ever do. And by God, I am so thankful. I started my inner child work. I started learning to understand me because now I'm capable of loving with my whole heart, which was broken. But over time, I've repaired it. And now... I know I'm worthy of the greatest love of all. On that, really think about that today. Have you locked it away? Or are you going to start some inner work and have a look and start to heal and understand the only person who can fix your heart is you? On that, I am live tonight on my Facebook page at half past eight. Join me then. It's going to be an amazing and incredible night. Thank you to all of you for all your support, for all you do to me. Uh, we hit nearly, what, 35,000 people last night. So thank you. Have a great day. Enjoy yourself. And I will catch you later. Much love always.